first time, welcome to the channel and a live stream. I'm Allison Sharp. And Travel Snacks is all about traveling, eating good food, being kind to one another, being resourceful, getting out and living your life, and maybe living a lifestyle outside of the norm, whether you want to live in a car, a van, a bus, an RV, an ambulance, a tiny home. Did I say that already? Uh, basically, if you just don't want to live like a normal house or apartment, then Travel Snacks is for you and we're all here for it. Or if you want to live in a house or apartment, we're not judging people over here. We're just here to have a good time. Anyways, welcome to the channel. <laughs> How's everybody doing? It's Snack Chat Sunday. And for those of you that have been around for a long time, you know that we usually do Snack Chat on Saturdays, but we're trying something new. So we've been moving over to Sundays. This is our second Sunday or maybe our third Sunday trying it this way. And I think so far so good. Uh, you guys can let me know in the comments uh, how you guys have been liking the Sundays. I actually didn't know how I was going to feel about it, but I feel pretty good about it because it kind of gives time for the weekend to flow and then we're wrapping it up on Sunday. Uh, so I think I kind of like it this way. And the time seems to be fine too. So anyways, also the time changed and I'm not thrilled about it, but I'm going to just feel my feelings today about it and be pissed off and then I'm going to try to do my best to stop being so cranky about it because I hate when the time changes because even though we gained one hour of sleep which I don't really care about it gets darker earlier and I wish they would just make a new law to keep it on daylight savings time for good but it doesn't seem like that's gonna happen so here we are we gotta embrace it and on a side note for those of you that uh, have like seasonal affective disorder or when the time changes, you get more depressed and stuff. Make sure that you do get out of the house more. Take walks, get some fresh air, um, get some exercise. And also they make these lights that you can buy from Amazon or whatever. And you just put them around your face or whatever so that it brightens your mood. Or I don't know what it does specifically. I think it increases your serotonin or some kind of chemical so that your brain doesn't feel like it's so dark and heavy. So... Anyways, those are my little few tips to give. Um, and don't forget to drink your water. And that's what we're doing. So before we get started, everybody hit the like button if you're already here. And let me see who's in the house. Let me scroll back and get my glasses. I really need to clean these glasses. Okay, so oh, let me turn it on to... Live chat instead of top chat. Now I'll scroll back. And as far as I can see, it's... Oh, Grant's in the house. Our moderator, which we're going to talk about in a second. Mimi's in the house. Uh, Tracy Weeks is in the house. Uh, AGT is in the house. Hey, Rob. Robbie. Um... <laughs> I can't see what some of the messages were from when it first started. But... Or right before we started. But you guys seem to be... a seemed like you were talking amongst yourselves which is fine hey ignore this hey element for life how are you snack packs hey jane gray from dayton ohio love 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 the return of to standard oh you do <gasps> i know only a few people that love the standard time I think the people that, well, I don't know, I can't speak for everybody, but I think people that like the standard time like that it gets like brighter earlier in the day. And it does give you a sense of getting more done starting from the beginning of the day. So I guess that's pretty good. I'm going to look at the silver lining. Hey, Kim, Sagio or Sagio, uh, glad you're here. Glad you made it. Hey, Princess Pamela's World. Uh, it's going great, Tracy. Thanks for asking. Hey, Cheryl T. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Brenda Lee from Ohio. Grant's enjoying the Sunday, so that's good. Yes, please smash the thumbs up. And if you're brand new, and if you're not subscribed, I don't know what you're doing. Snack Pack is the greatest community on the whole internet. So hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Uh, ignore this. It's dark too early. That's facts. My glasses are so dirty. But I need these glasses. Hey, Christina Graham. Let's see. I just went on my first car camping adventure last weekend. Went to the Smoky Mountains and it was gorgeous. Ooh, that sounds gorgeous. That sounds awesome. 
I love what, when people message me and tell me that they've just started their car living. What's this? <laughs> car living journey or van journey or whatever. And I love to hear people getting out of the house and having new adventures. So that's great. Okay, let me scroll back. Hey, Jeannie, Armella Life. I hate the time change too, says Cheryl. I hate it when it gets so dark. We had a referendum here a couple of weeks ago asking if we should keep it daylight savings time. And 50.1% 50, 50 said no. So here I sit in the dark. That's... That's a bummer. That's real close, though. Maybe maybe next year. During late daylight savings time, it's dark at 8.30 a.m. I hate it. Oh, okay, okay. I, I see it both ways. I see it both ways. Hey, Donnie T. I think for me, like, being on the road, it's like being and driving and stuff. I like to be able to drive longer. And when it gets dark, I don't really love driving. So that kind of puts a damper. Uh, Element from Life. For Life from Canada. Hey, Evelyn Torres is in the house. Happy Sunday. I don't do well with these time changes. I wish they would stop them. Same. I was reading an article about it that um, it really affects a lot of people in a really negative way because people's internal like circadian rhythm gets off and people mentally have a hard time getting rest and then it affects their jobs. It was like a really detailed article. I thought it was a really good uh, article about the changes and everyone was like, just keep it on one or the other, but don't keep flip-flopping every year. But here we are. Oh, water. I'm trying to hard to drink more water. It's gross. Um, let me show you. The, hold on. Let me get it. I know these aren't the healthiest, but this has really helped me to drink more water. This is from the Dollar Tree. I mean, you can get these anywhere. But this one I like, it's lemon iced tea. Um, and I have a bunch of other ones from Walmart and stuff like that. Um, but I've kind of gotten used to drinking my water. I got this 40 ounce bottle on Amazon and it's really helped because it's it's pretty good size but it's not too, too big, like one of those gallon jugs. I'm not gonna drink a gallon of water every day, I'm just letting you know. But this is good. So if you have to put the flavors in it, I know it's probably not the best because it has chemicals, but I mean, if you're in taking in more water, it's a good way to get started. Hey, V. Ellis from Sacramento. Hey, Tracy Plans. How are you? Hey, Rebecca. Rewire 64 is in the house. Hey, Deborah on the go. Hey, Thomas Veteran. Uh, hey, Sania. How are you? How was your trip? Did you go already? Hey, Tracy Higgins. Uh, let's see. Portland, Oregon's in the house. Uh, not too bad. I'm doing great. Uh, Jane is having a beautiful opesto omelet for on homemade bread for dinner. That sounds delicious. I've never had a pesto omelet. Didn't even know it was a thing. Oh, the pesto's homemade. Jane cooks all the good things, and she sent me cookies, and they were delicious. Um, let's see. We don't observe daylight savings time in Arizona. Yes. We just changed to daylight savings, so loving the nights being longer. But I sympathize with all those who have fallen back, yes. Hope all is well. Yes, everything's going great. Thank you. Uh, hey, Aces, Eights. I'm new, but have watched you before, and last time I've seen you were ill. Have I'm doing much better. Thank you for asking. My back is uh, doing a lot better. I'm able to get out and walk more. I'm able to, like, I've been stretching every day and that's really been helpful. So I appreciate that very much. And so far so good. Hey, Paul D Andrews from OC. Awesome. Mm. I know. I hope I can come to Canada at some point too, because that would be amazing. Here the sun sets at 4 18 PM and our daylight is eight hours and 47 minutes. That is doesn't sound like a good idea. All right, Robbie says, my chihuahua was whining and yelped at me. I said, dude, it's only 6.30. It's not even dark. And he looked at me like, dad, go look. His clock didn't change. That's true. Uh, good. Oh, Vegas next week. Awesome. Awesome. Hey, Michelle Davis from Virginia. I love Virginia. Uh, you should check out freaking reviews he's i think i follow freaking reviews i don't know i follow a lot of people on youtube 
He's awesome YouTube. He reviews a lot of different products and you might be able to find a different alternative for your water bottle. Awesome. Okay, awesome. Thank you. My drink bottle looks like that too. Uh, I like the markings that let me know how much you're drinking. Yes, that's definitely helpful. Um, it's definitely one of the reasons I bought this so I can keep track. I wanted something that had like at least uh, 36 ounces and this has 40. So if I put ice in here, at least I'm getting 36. And I try to drink two of these a day. I've been slipping lately. Um, obviously, that's all I've had today. So, I don't know. Some days are better than others. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, so where am I? I, <laughs> I was in the Bay Area, which is Northern California. I was there for three weeks. It was awesome. One of the best experiences so far because I was close to friends. And it makes such a huge difference when you're traveling uh, around living in a vehicle and you have people around you that you can just be like, hey, you want to go grab something to eat or they invite you over to hang out. And um, it was just so, so awesome. I think I could probably live in the Bay Area because it was just such a great experience. I was able to stay in my van most of the time. Um, I was in my van the whole time except for if somebody invited me to come stay in their house and we were just hanging out or whatever. Uh, but it was so, so fun. I spent a lot of time with my friend Ivana, which a lot of you guys know. Two sisters and a cocktail. She's on the live streams a lot. She's been on some of my videos. We actually made a couple videos together, which should be coming out this week, actually. Either this week or next week. Um, and they're really fun episodes. Uh, YouTube's letting me know I'm live right now, so thanks, YouTube. Um, also, on a side note... <laughs> I got a, a message today asking if somebody, if asking me if I have an OnlyFans account. And I'm like, bro, calm down. I don't know why people are like so bold and forward. <laughs> if you don't know what OnlyFans account is, I'm not going to talk about it on today's live stream, but look it up. It's kind of like, really, does that work for you? Anyways, that's a side topic. I had so much fun in the Bay Area. <laughs> and... Uh, I would have stayed longer, but it was starting to get a little bit colder. And then I was missing some of my friends from Southern California. Plus I told my mom and dad that I would be, uh, back to their house for Thanksgiving. So I did drive back down to Southern California and I am back in San Diego and it's already been great. I've already seen one of my friends. She made homemade gumbo the other night and I went over for dinner and it was just awesome. Um, let me look at my notes so I don't get sidetracked um but on this live stream on the little title it said wild beach waves and the reason I said that is because the I think the second day I was here I was parked overlooking the ocean over at Sunset Cliffs which I've taken you guys on a field trip before too and the waves were so huge and so like violent and I loved it and I was just far enough back so that obviously it wasn't going to like come up over the mountain, but it was going over some of the bigger rocks and it was so crazy and it was really crazy. I can't even describe it. Um, but I'm bringing this up because people are a little bit crazy. I don't think people understand how, I don't know what the right way to say, like how dangerous water is, the ocean is, because there was like, I don't know how to describe it, but there was like these very, really tall rocks and the water was like cr crashing up over it. And then the, the hill keeps going up higher. Well, these people are traveling, like walking down this hill and going on these other rocks and the water's just coming up over it. And I'm like, you guys are about to die today. Do you do you want to die? Because water will sweep you out into the ocean. And then I was just sitting in my van. And I'm looking out at the beautiful ocean. Just crashing waves. And this guy's out there with a jet ski. He woke up choosing violence and death. I don't know. I mean, I know people get adrenaline rush. And I know that people have that built in sometimes. But also, no one to draw the line. Because he was driving his jet ski so close to the rocks and stuff. And it could have just been one wave 
just knocked him into the rocks and he would have been smashed and dead. And his family would be planning a funeral today. So respect water, respect the ocean. If you're ever out in the waters, waterous areas, respect it. Because they could really take you away. And that's, I don't want anybody to die that I know. I mean, I don't want anyone to die, but you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, let's see. While I was at Cade's Cove in the Smokies, if you don't, I haven't been to the Smokies yet. I happened upon a rare church service in one of the old churches there. Ooh, that sounds like a great experience. <laughs> My Halloween, I was going to dress up and then I didn't. Uh, I was still up in the Bay Area and, uh, I just didn't have anything really planned or anything to do specifically. So I was like, why am I going to dress up just to take a picture for the gram, you know? So I was like, mm, I'll save it for next year. Um, I don't celebrate Halloween. I know this sounds like so just whatever. I don't celebrate like the Halloween, like the spooky, like evil parts of Halloween. But I do like to dress up and just be festive. I wish they had a holiday that was for dressing up but didn't have all the like spooky stuff attached to it because I don't like that part. Hey Lisa Walker from Cincinnati, Ohio. Awesome. It's amazing the little things you can do that can make such a huge difference in back pain. So happy that you're feeling. Yes, exactly. Honestly, the stretching has been so great and it's not even that hard to do. I just jump up first thing in the morning and do it and it probably takes me 10 minutes, 15 at the most. And lately I've been just turning on my gospel music in the morning and just jumping right into it. And it just like livens up my morning right before I start reading my Bible. So it's been, it's been really great. Uh, we've been up, let's see, we've been up in the Big Horns the couple of days. We just got home and forgot about the time. Oh, dang. The church from Georgia had canceled their services at home to have church in Cades Cove. No electricity, low, no lights, but God showed up. Oh, that sounds even better. That's awesome. Hey, Ivana, two sisters in a cocktail. I miss you too. I spent so much time with Ivana up there when I was in the Bay Area, and it was just the best time ever. And I'm sad that I am not there. I hate to cut it short, but I'm going to get snuggles from my granddaughter, Nora. Love your channel. Uh, thank you for showing up, and yes, please have a great evening with family. Um, let's see. In December and January, almost hardly see the daylight is only a couple hours a day. Oh, sheesh. That is too much. People are strange, Alyssa, and that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> it's true. Are you traveling in your van during winter or staying at your parents for a few months? No, I'm going to stay in my van the whole time. Um, so ever since the van's been built, um, I... Like, I still use my parents' address for mail and stuff like that, but I don't consider them that my house, because that's their house. Um, I was there during the pandemic and during, obviously, building the van, because my dad and I were working on the van every day. Um, but my van is my home, so I'm in my van full-time. The only time I'm not in my van is, like I said, if I'm at a friend's house, it'd just be like if you went to visit somebody in another city or whatever, and they're like, hey, you wanted to stay the night. I treat it the same way, so people might invite me over to have dinner or whatever. Um, I guess it is a little different because, you know, I have my van outside so I could go outside. But it's just nice to be around friends sometimes. So uh, I'll just be going to my parents for um, Thanksgiving. I don't know what I'm doing for Christmas yet, but I'll be in my van. I'm trying to consider my route because I do want to get uh, back over to Texas and Florida and stuff like that. But I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing yet. San Diego and Sunset Cliffs, one of my favorite places in the world. Me too, Cheryl. It's so, so great. I love it here. Amen. By the way, folks, I don't know how to properly tag people when I say hello. I never highlight the name. Hey, Wendy Choate. How are you? I don't celebrate Halloween either. I'm with you. Yes. I have a lot of friends that don't celebrate Halloween. It's cool to each his own. It's cool. Yeah. Um, dress up for Christmas. I uh, I know, like I'm. I like holidays. I like I like festivities, um, but you know, it's just whatever. Um, okay, so we talked about the waves. Um, I'm probably gonna make a a short about the waves, so you'll be able to see them. And it may not translate as well on video, but it was just such a great sight to see. So, anyways, look forward to that. Um, 
there's a few things I want to talk about. How far? Okay, 20 minutes? All right. So, um, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, real quick, for those of you that haven't already, try. Uh, if you want to know or if you want, how do I say it? If you want to get more content that you might not see on YouTube, then follow me on TikTok because I'm going to start like posting there more um, in addition to YouTube. I'm not going to stop YouTube, but I'm going to post on TikTok more. And I might post on TikTok some things that I wouldn't necessarily post on YouTube. So TikTok is still travel snacks. Um, I'm posting less on Instagram, but I still post on Instagram. My Instagram is travel snacks underscore because someone else has travel snacks. Um, so I just wanted to mention that because there's a few things that I can do on TikTok some trends and some like fun, like funny skit things that I probably wouldn't put on the, on the YouTubes. But anyway, I wanted to mention that. Also, I just wanted to mention, I didn't even talk to Grant about this yet, but, or the other moderators, but I might do a couple impromptu lives for the next couple months, just during the holidays. So it won't be scheduled. I'll just jump on because I want to like, I don't know, just be a little more spontaneous during the holidays. And sometimes when I'm out and about sometimes I want to do like a quick field trip and show you guys where I'm at um, so I might do that and it won't be like really schedule or anything like that um, but since I'm talking about the live streams the next official live stream will be snack chat Sunday will be Sunday the 21st uh, which will be uh, 4 p.m. Pacific 7 p.m. Eastern so we're gonna stick with that schedule but I might do a few impromptu lives um, just here and there as well um, but I'll mention the 21st again um, before we end this live stream. Also, uh, for those of you that have uh, wanted to donate to the snack fund, you can do so by clicking the little dollar sign under the live chat. It's not required or obligated, um, but YouTube does take 30%. So if you do want to make a donation, you can do so through PayPal. They also charge fees. And also Venmo and Cash App, they don't take any fees, which is always great. Um, and you can find the links to those, uh, Grant's going to post them, but also on the description of all of my videos, it does help the channel. Uh, it helps me to go do more things and film more, uh, day in the life videos. And I'm going to be hitting the road. Uh, I don't know, maybe in December, but maybe in January, I'm going to be trying to do more adventures and more restaurants and more just van life content. Um, so any donations help with that, especially with the flipping gas in California, all the donations have pretty much been paying for gas. That's pretty much because California sucks when it comes to gas. Um, but anyways, I say that, I don't know if the right thing to say is with a grain of salt, because I do truly appreciate all the donations, but it's never, I never feel like, um, you know, like you goes, like nobody owes me anything. I just say that because a lot of people do like to support the channel and they feel good about the snack pack. And so that's, that's why I talk about it. All right. Um, there's a lot of things coming up. Okay, so uh, let's see. What thing do I want to talk about? Talked about the impromptu lives. Um, let me talk about this this one thing that I found. Wait, let me read some of the comments. Thank you, Grant, for posting all that. I'm going to talk about Grant in a second. There's something I want to say about, about Grant. Um, oops, I scrolled back too far. Okay, Alice in Wonder Van theme. Oh, that's so cute. I did tra um, uh, dress up as Alice in Wonderland actually one year and it was the cutest little outfit. And I had bought a blonde wig and that's the first time I ever saw myself blonde and I'm like, oh, I love this look, I gotta be blonde. And so that's one of the reasons why I dyed my hair blonde. For those of you that are shocked right now, my hair is actually like the most darkest brown possible, like my actual natural hair. Um, but that's a cute idea. Um, where am I traveling to next? I don't know. I'm thinking of going to Texas for Christmas again. I was there last year. Um, but then I'm like, I was thinking about just flying, um, just to go for a couple days, but then I'm like, well, maybe I'll just drive and then maybe I'll just keep going and go to Florida and visit some of my friends there. Um, 
I know pretty sure like in the spring I want to go to all the mountain states like Idaho, um, Montana, some of the places I haven't been yet. Uh, but I'll get that route together. Let's see. My co-worker talks about being dressed as Elf for Christmas. Oh my gosh, I love that idea. That's my favorite Christmas movie. I'm hoping that you won't have to deal with freezing weather this year when you see your son. Yeah, exactly. Me too. That's one of the things I'm like, oh, I don't want to be in any kind of freezing snow. Hey, Roy Van Beaumont. How many good overnight parking spots do you know of in San Diego? Oh my gosh, there's a lot. Um, well, I usually park on residential streets. Um, in certain areas by the beaches, they don't have any like uh, metered parking, so you can just park. Um, some of the communities in San Diego are pretty van friendly. I've seen so many van life people. Um, like I haven't met any, but I'm saying I see the vans. You can tell van, you can tell people that are, you can tell when you look at certain vans, you can tell that they're vans that people live in, um, just by what's on some of the vans. Um, but there's a lot, I haven't had any troubles. Uh, the only trouble I have is sometimes kids like hit my van in the middle of the night because they have these little scooters that you can, you know, rent or whatever. And so sometimes they get going and they ran, run into your van or whatever. Uh, I've had people knock on my van. I don't know if they're just like, don't like van life people in the community. I don't really know, but a couple of times that's happened already. Uh, let's see. Yes. Thank you, Grant. Please throw a like on it if you haven't already. Um, Halloween, not so, but Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's are always my favorite. Yes, that's those are great holidays. Parking uh, parking during the day by the roller coaster in Mission Bay Park is excellent, but you have to leave between 2 a.m. and 4. Yeah, there's a lot of places that have that sign, and I'm like, do they really enforce that? I know some places they do, but some they don't. Like over by um, like the the bay, they there's plenty of um, RVs there just parked all the time, so I don't know. Awesome, Grant. Thanks about the spontaneous live chats. I see you live in a van now. Last time I seen your show, you were ready to go. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, that was quite a while ago. I've been in my van. You guys, it's going to be a year in my van next month. I'm going to try to make a, like a recap video in December. This snack pack is growing. If you don't want to miss out on travels and snacks along the way, hit the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. Thank you, Ivana. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yes. Throw a like on it. Agreed, and gas prices here in California, they do suck. <laughs> uh, Element for Life, I I keep going back and forth about a P.O. box because part of me wants to open it up because people do want to send me stuff, but also um, I have such limited space in my van that it's, it's kind of a bummer because if people send me stuff, I don't know what to do with this stuff. So I don't really have that capability yet or this the opportunity to have just people send me stuff because I'd love to receive stuff, but I just, I don't. So I don't know. I have to keep, I have to think about that a little bit more. I guess it depends on what it is as well. Hey, Lola777, thank you. Uh, yeah, I'll probably do a little van decorating for Christmas. Uh, Kim's in Montana. Would love to do me. Oh, awesome! Yeah, I might. I might start doing uh, some more meetups next year as well. I don't want to be in any freezing snow either. But sadly, yeah, you're kind of in that. Um, crazy taxi cabbie. Where to go in the U.S. to stay warm at night? Um, I'd say all the southern states and and also Southern California. Um, it does get a little cold, but I've I put my heater on a couple times. But it hasn't really been that bad. I just kind of like warm up the van and then turn it off. But the southern states like Florida, Texas, well, not Texas in January and February, but um, yeah, some of the southern states have been really pretty good for that. Vegas in April. Let's have a group meetup. Uh, I'll be on assignment. This will be my first SUV camp out with our dog. Oh, awesome. I don't understand the hate against candy corn. During Halloween, I loved it as a kid. I don't eat it now because it would stick in my teeth. I don't, is there a thing about candy corn? Mm. 
No, everybody loves sugar crystal candy corn. No, there, there can't be a thing about. Is there a thing about candy corn? Did I miss it? Is there like a, there's always something in the news about somebody being offended by something. It's getting just crazy. Storage units should, st oh, you know what? That's a smart idea. Storage units offering PO boxes. That would be so smart. That's an invention. Hey, Alaric Aguilar. Hey, Donna from Clarksville. Awesome. Enjoy watching you. I have a brother out in California. Awesome. I love Clark. If it's Clarksville, Tennessee, I loved it. Um, <laughs> Christmas card. Um, oh, Christmas cards would be cool. I, um, oh, I can't. I just got pictures of my friends and family, some of my friends and family. I'm going to try to figure out how to put up pictures, but Christmas cards might be cool. Okay, I'm going to think about that, okay? I'll think about a way for you guys to send Christmas cards. If you want to, you don't have to, but um, that would be cool. I could decorate my van with Christmas cards. Um, anyone remember the little wax Coke bottle with sugar water? In? Yes. You think it's the worst candy ever? It is the worst candy ever, but it was like fun to drink when you were a little kid. I have a feeling summer in my SUV will be harder than winter. Facts. I made some insulated blackout window shades and they helped so much. It had got down to 42 one night and never got at the least bit cold. Yeah, it's hands down harder in the van when it is hot. But I hate being hot when I'm trying to sleep. Yes, it's the worst. Yes, I love Clarksville, Tennessee. That's a great place. Where would you go in Canada if you're playing at? Oh my gosh. Well, I definitely go visit Grant and his wife, Jackie. That would be great. And I would love to go up back up to like um prince edward island i'd love to go to nova scotia i'd love to go pretty much everywhere to be honest i canada is a hit hey modern day pilgrim how are you um yeah i like some of those old school candies oh okay speaking of, i was gonna get on this topic um i was at trader joe's i know i think i talked about trader joe's on the last live stream but trader joe's has some good stuff right now if you guys have a Trader Joe's, get over there. They have some really cool stuff. This is what I picked up. I'm going to get it because I wasn't sure about this, but I need stuff that's easy to cook in the van. If you saw my last video, you know why. Because I need things that are just easy and quick because it can get involved and I'm not the greatest cook. But I found this. Hold, hold please. They're, ah, ow, ow. they're in the freezer section. There are these organic veggie bites. And they're like these little frozen, they look like meatballs. And six pieces is only 180 calories. And you can air fry these. And so I did half the bag in the air fryer. This said put it in for three to four minutes. That's a lie. I did put it for three to four minutes and the inside was still frozen. So I did four minutes and then I think I did five minutes a total of nine minutes but halfway through I just kind of like shook it around and stirred it not stirred but you know just whatever shook it around and these are bite-sized tots with organic vegetables and sunflower seeds now that sounds maybe gross to some people but then I bought this vegan tzatziki dip is this backwards for you when you're reading that that's weird Cucumbers, lemon juice, dill, and garlic, dairy-free. This is delicious. You can make like falafels and you can put this on pita bread or whatever. Uh, you can get vegetables and just dip like carrots and stuff. 180 calories per six of these uh, little ball, like little pots. But they're like pretty good size. I got like, you know, whatever. Anyway, I don't know. I, I didn't count out six. I just did half the bag. So let's see how many servings. Okay, so it's four servings per container. So no, I don't think I had 12. I may have had like eight or 10. Anyway, it was enough. It was enough. And I liked it. Um, so if you like that kind of thing, give it a try. This is very easy to eat and it's a hit. Let me put this back because it's frozen. whoa um and they had the, like a bunch of other stuff 
they really had a lot of stuff in there. So I'm going to keep going back to Trader Joe's whenever I'm near one because they had a lot of like chopped up vegetables. Like they had the um, like chopped up um, Brussels sprouts and I can air fry those and put like a little balsamic glaze on them. Um, they have the like little prepackaged uh, pre salads. They had jicama, which I like. Um, they had a lot of cool stuff. I've been to Trader Joe's plenty of times, but I don't know. They just recently they just really upped their game to a lot of different things that I've I really liked. So give that a try. Um, let's see. I vacationed on Prince Edward Island five years in a row. Loved it. Ooh, I've never been. Uh, I want to send a present as well as a card. Um, let me try to get something set up for like, maybe they can do like a peel box for like a couple months. Cause it, I, it's, I don't know how much it is, but out here they do charge. And I don't know, I think it's like 30 bucks a month or I don't know how much it is to be honest. Um, hey, Shaka Khan in Key West, Florida. Oh, Key West is awesome. Girl, are those veggie bites fried? They might be fried, but they're delicious. Oh, sorry, I already put it Oh wait, How many carbs? I don't know, but you could probably look on online. If you just type in those veggie bites, veggie tots or whatever, I'm sure you can see the nutritional. Uh, air fry. I use I just have a air fryer in my van. I just use it. Okay, Ray Ray, I'll get the carbs for you. <laughs> Let's see. Here. This is what it says. I don't know if it's backwards for you guys, but take a picture and then swirl it around in your phone or whatever. And that's the ingredients and the stuffs. So total carbs, 22 grams, four fibers, two sugars, four proteins. Now, I'm not saying they're like the most healthiest thing in the whole Americas, but I'm just saying they're really good and quick and easy. And if you pair that with like a little side salad, you know, it's a nice little meal. Okay. Easy, quick foods that are nutritional granola, veggie burger. Oh, I do like a ve good veggie burger. Dry mix, pasta cooks easily, potato flakes, popcorn, and various seasonings. Lots of choice. I need to get better at seasoning. Uh, they look delicious. Thanks for the Trader Joe's is awesome. I shop there all the time. Not because it's not backwards in the car. Oh, okay, cool. It's it was showing backwards for me. Um, the last video, cooking in the van was so cool. You looked way at home in the van, parked for free on a city street where the apartment rents are crazy high. That's true. Uh, it's really funny because I wake up like every day and I'm in a new environment and I'm like right by the beach and I'm like, dang, this is so great. I'm just like in walking distance of the beach and I love it. Uh, I have to step away and walk my little animal. I can't carry the phone at the same time because yeah, don't drop it in his poop. That'd be bad. <laughs> That'd be bad. Uh, I've been buying noodles that take two minutes to be ready in two minutes and well, yeah, noodles is always a hit as well. They sell these other aw awesome noodles at Costco. They're like these teriyaki noodles and they have vegetables already in it. And I like those. And then I add more vegetables. Um, Hey, Fernando Gonzalez. 22 isn't bad with 4 grams of fiber, 18 effective carbs. Any chance for more travel vlogs, maybe longer ones? Uh, I'm trying to, I always try to keep my travel vlogs to 15 minutes or less. Um, but yeah, I, I will be adding more day in the life videos because I know everybody likes those. Awesome. Sorry to ask, but how many watts do you use for your air fryer in the mess? So the, the air fryer that I have, it's, it's a Ninja Foodie, which it's like a nine in one it's an air fryer, it's a steamer, it's a sauteer, a bake thing, like it's a lot of things. And it's, I think it's 1500 watts. Um, but I try not to cook things for too long. So far I haven't blown out any batteries or like ran out of power. Every once in a while, like my little lights will flicker a little bit as I'm cooking. And if that happens, I just turn on my engine because I have a solenoid that goes to my battery that, that kind of charges the battery as well. Um, but so far the Ninja Foodie, even though it is a pretty heavy on, um, like power draw, I haven't really had any problems with anything not being able to be used. So that's been good. Bitcoin is surging up right now. 
Awesome. Okay, so what I do want to say is two things, and then we're going to play some games. Um, this is so cool. One of the things is when I started this channel is like I knew I wanted to just give as much information as possible and be as just real with my life and real with the channel with these videos as possible. And for those of you that know, I pretty much put all my dependence on God for how things turn out. I don't try to get too crazy about uh, numbers and stuff. And it's amazing how much the snack pack has grown. And we just recently hit 40,000 snack pack people. And I'm just like floored really about the community that's been built. And I really want to do more with that. I think it's been overwhelming just because even though I knew I wanted to have a big channel and I want just wrote on myself. Okay. I knew I wanted to have a big channel and I know that I want to do YouTube and I want to share all this stuff, but I also didn't, I don't know if I just wasn't super prepared or whatever, but I don't really keep track of a lot of things, but God knew what I needed. And he sent along Grant, our original moderator. And it's just really interesting because I don't even really pay attention when I'm hitting new milestones. I think I have been really having my eyes on hitting a hundred thousand subscribers because you get the little play button and it's kind of like a little bit of validation of like hard work and stuff, but I don't focus on it. But last night Grant sent me a message uh, on Instagram and it's just like so cool because let me read it. Sorry, Grant, I'm just going to read what you put. Uh, this is what Grant wrote to me. He said, did you know that tomorrow's live stream will mark my one year anniversary as your moderator, November 7th, 2020. It's crazy to think that it's just been like a year and Grant's been moderating. We do have a few more moderators now on the channel, which I appreciate all the moderators stepping in and just being helpful, kicking out the rear raff and just putting up all the good information and stuff like that. Um, but Grant's been doing it from the beginning, really. And, um, it's been a whole year and I truly appreciate you Grant. It's, it's like not only just for the live streams, but he kicks out people or makes like snarky, but funny comments on my regular videos. Um, which I actually quite enjoy. I think it's so funny. Um, cause there's a lot of people like there's a lot of guys out there that feel the need to talk about my body parts or like whatever, just kind of being skeevy and Grant will just go in and just say like the funniest it's just funny anyway, but Grant's been doing the moderating for a year now. And also he wrote not only that, but we're also also celebrating 10,000 subscribers during that live stream. So Grant's been watching the live streams for longer than a year, but he's been the moderator for a year. And on that live stream, it was 10,000 subscribers. And, um, now we're at like 41,000. Um, so the numbers have quadrupled. And when I say numbers, I mean, people, people have joined this, the, the snack pack. Um, and so I just want to take this moment for everybody to just give like a celebratory shout out to Grant. I know you guys can't talk or see each other or whatever. Um, and I think in the new year, I'm going to try to do something where that's, I'm going to try to get that, get away where you guys can interact with each other because the snack pack is growing even more. And I love the kindness, the support, the prayers for each other. And I want people to feel connected. So if you guys are ever traveling or ever need anything and you're in other states and cities, you guys can connect with each other. Um, so I say all that to say, thank you, Grant, so much for being not only part of Travel Snacks, but being part of my life in such a great way. Always keeping track of the milestones, always encouraging me, always just being there and this is a person I've never even met, but just holds a very dear place in my heart, him and his wife, Jackie, because, and they're just, I could just feel the love radiating and it's just amazing. So I just want to give this time to give a large shout out because it really does help me in a tremendous way to have such support. So thank you so much, Grant. It's truly a blessing. So I'm going to give you guys a second to just shout out Grant because it's just, it's just awesome. Uh, let me read some of these comments while you guys are giving the shout outs.
Awesome, awesome. Uh, any new friends on my journey? Yes, I have met a few people. And I want to continue to meet new people. Cat or dog potential? No, I won't be getting any pets. The snack pack community is amazing. Oh, the, the ninja foodie that I have is the five quart ninja foodie. So I think, I don't know, it could be 1800 watts, but I think it's 15, but I, I don't know. God always, always, always provides faith, belief, and gratitude. That is facts. God always provides. People always ask me, aren't you afraid? Are you scared? And I'm like, no, I'm, I don't ever feel scared out unless there's like actual danger. Then I don't really feel scared. I feel super blessed and I know God's always watching over. Whoop, whoop. Thank you so much, Grant. Uh, thank you so much. Yes, I love all these. Grant does a great job. All of our moderators do a great job, and I just appreciate everybody. Oh, Tracy coming through with $10. Thank you for the snack pack, Allison. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let me give you a shout out. Oh. Turn my. Let's give you. Oh, I'm going to give you applause. Nope. Didn't work. I bow, I bow to that donation. Thank you so much, Tracy. I appreciate it. Actually, somebody, hold on, because now I remember somebody, I think it was yesterday. Yes, Lori Hayes. I don't know if Lori's on here. Uh, Lori Hayes sent, um, wait, when was this? I forget when this was. Uh, sent a $10 and says, have a great weekend. And I just thought that was so sweet. Like, what a, a cool thing just to receive. I think this was just a couple days ago. Yeah, it was actually yesterday. She sent it yesterday. And it was like, oh, that's so sweet. Like, somebody's just thinking of me in the middle of the week. That's, like, so sweet and nice. So I appreciate it very much, uh, Lori. And if you're here, I'm going to give you... <laughs> okay, awesome. Um, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, everybody. Life on the streets. What? What? Woo-woo. Um... I don't think I'm going to go to Quartzsite, but I'll have to look into it more. Hey, Gypsy Movement, Dora's in the house. Let's see. I want him to be my mod for my channel when I hit 1,000 subs. Grant's going to have a full-time job being a moderator <laughs> because everybody's going to want Grant because he's so great. Uh, yes, blessings. Hey, Paul Andrews. Kudos to Grant. Yes, that's awesome. You guys can always contact me when you're down south for some tips. Awesome. Everybody loves Grant. I love all the shout outs. Awesome. Hey, Paul D. Andrews, thank you so much for the $9.99. Let's give you a victory shout. Thank you, Paul, so, so much. And Lola777 coming through in the $19.99 for the snackaroos. I love it. Let's give you this one. I love it. Thank you so much. You guys are a true blessing. I appreciate that. Truly, truly. I love all the shout outs for Grant. Thank you so much. It's been an amazing trip so far. Looking forward to even bigger and better things. Thank you so much. Awesome. Awesome. Just finished watching the... I don't know what the rest of the message is, Rob. Um, Deborah on the go. Let's see. Thanks a zillion, Grant. Thank you for all the kind words. Okay, awesome. Just finished watching the Peak Skill video. Wonderful place used to live there. Oh, awesome. Peak Skill is really cool. Um, let's see, Allison, we love you. Big virtual hugs to everyone. Yes, big virtual hugs to everybody all the time. Um, also, okay, I'm going to talk about one last thing and then we'll play three would you add rather questions today. I know, I know. I came up with three. Well, I didn't come up with that. I looked on the internet. Okay, so um, I finally paid and got a logo <laughs> and it's been a little while and um I've kind of been kind of waiting to get to like 50,000 subscribers just just to like I don't know it's like a little milestone of mine but I finally just had a logo made um it's more like it's it's less of a logo and more of like for merch so I'm pretty sure I'm going to be making stickers um like travel snack stickers and maybe some merchandise 
soon, but I am going to probably talk about that in the next live stream so I can organize my thoughts and get that together. I'm going to really try to get some, some hats and hoodies and t like t-shirts and uh, stickers and maybe some other things uh, available in like within this month. So if you guys are interested, give me a thumbs up. If not, then maybe I won't even focus on that. Um, but I have had a lot of messages asking for different items with different sayings on them. And people, a lot of you have given me some things that I say that you guys like. Uh, also some uh, merch that has sugar crystal candy corn on it. Um, so there's a lot of things I'm trying to do. And so I'm going to try to get it together this month. So that maybe it could be like available for the holidays. So I need to really get on it. Also, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm trying to post at least one video a day, even if it's just a short. Uh, I'm trying to maximize just putting out content and just being available. Um, hold on. Being available um, to give more information and more entertainment and stuff like that. So um, that's been good. Uh, Mimi King, $10. Oh, Mimi, thank you so much. Let's give Mimi a shout out. Let's give Mimi, I'm going to give Mimi a yodel. Awesome. And then also, Roy uh, on Cash App sent $5. Thank you, Roy. I appreciate that. Let me give you a shout out. Let's give you. He shoots. He scores. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for the donations. I truly appreciate that. Um, also, if there are any specific merch items that you guys would be interested in, because I see some of you are interested in merch, uh, let me know. Are you more interested in whatever? I don't know. Some people want coffee mugs, if you want notebooks, if you want just t-shirts, so I don't know. But if there's something specific you want, um, send me a message on Instagram, DM me, or put it in the comments of some of my videos because I read those. Uh, let's see, Bob Wells could do a tour of Simon the Van and help boost your stuff. I would love that. If Bob Wells wants to, uh, you know, do a video with me, I, I'm, I'm, pretty much a, <laughs> I'm pretty much available to do videos with a lot of YouTubers. I'm not like fancy. I just like to connect with people. Have you been watching hockey? Any teams? You have? I don't watch hockey. I've never watched hockey. I don't think ever in my life. Well, that's not true. I think I've been to, well, I don't know. I've been to a hockey game, but it's been 150 years. Um, so I wouldn't even know what any of the teams are. So enjoy it for me. Uh, Christina says, fun. I need a t-shirt. Mimi says, yes to merch. Uh, Jeannie says, then I hope you will send to Europe too. We'll love to have stickers in my caravan. I'll have to figure that out in terms of post postage. Um, but I'm sure we can figure that out. Just I'll have to find out how that all works. Uh, merch is good. Thumbs up for merch. Awesome. Merch, 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 but headache at the same time. <laughs> um, <laughs> Dora <laughs> travel snacks. Awesome. I love it. I'm so excited to see what merch I can come up with. Oh, winter hat. I would love that. You know, I'd even wear that. Um, yeah, I, I definitely would want to, um, have some different elements. And then there's some companies that do one-off printing. That's what I would probably focus on so that I don't have, to, obviously I can't store t-shirts and stuff in my van. Um, so what I would probably do is just find a company that does like the kind of one-off printing. So if somebody orders, they print it and it ships out. So um, that'd be pretty cool. I'm actually really excited for that. Um, thanks. I used to want to be a pro hockey player, center position, and score lots of goals. Awesome. I mean, that would be pretty cool to go to a hockey game. As long as I have a big jacket. <laughs> Pillow covers. Oh, that'd be so cool. Pillow covers. T-shirts and hoodies. Yes, definitely. You know, I'm always wearing tank tops. So, you know, it's probably going to be tank tops also. But, you know, I love a good hoodie. Tote bag. Oh, yes. Oh, I got to write this down. Tote bags. But let me write it. Tote bags. Pillow cover. Like beanie. Winter hat. Uh, T-shirts. Stickers. Awesome. 
Yeah, I'll see what I can come up with and get that popping. Uh, oh, water bottles. Oh, that's a smart idea. Water bottles. Um, oh, pens. Pens are good, too. Pens are probably really easy to print. Small things that don't cost much postage are always a good... Yeah, for sure. Uh, it looks like... Let's see. Um, awesome. Awesome. Okay. All right, so I will start working on the merch probably this week because, yeah, I'm going to have to get other designs. Cereal bowl. I love that. Cereal bowl. <laughs> That's funny. Um, sweatpants. I love a good sweatpant, to be honest, especially on guys. Let's just keep this clean, though. Uh, PJs. <laughs> Oh, travel journal. I love that. PJs I love because you know I love wearing PJs. Travel journal. Yes, there's so many ideas. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably start out small with just a few items and then build up from there. I have a lot of ideas written down. I'm the kind of person that has probably too many ideas. So I don't know. Uh, I'm going to probably keep branching out and adding more things to the like travel store, travel snack store. Um, pen lights that go, oh, I love pen lights. Pen lights are good. That goes on a keychain. I would like a small unicorn to hang. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I'm writing that down. Small unicorn to hang from a rear view. Oops, I lost the chat. Oh, I'm, it got retracted. Coffee mugs. Coffee mugs a good one because you know I love coffee. You should definitely hit a, a, a hockey game on your travels and maybe sport. Yeah, I would probably do that for sure. Um, awesome. All right, so those are some good, good uh, recommendations. Uh, thank you, Grant. Okay, um, so I know we like to keep these to an hour, and we've already almost had an hour, so we're gonna do these these uh would you rather questions i was gonna do three and we'll see how it goes but maybe we'll just stick with two because i know you guys it's sunday and people gotta go to bed soon some of you uh, that's okay russ <laughs> um all right so give me a thumbs up if you guys are ready for would you rather questions uh we used to have so much fun with these would you rather questions so i have decided to kind of try to focus on those and maybe come up with some new things in the future Use Teespring, they link your channel and show under video, uh, like Trenton Alley. Yes. Okay. I had my first primitive camping trip last week. Oh, Southwest District Water Management Land. Free camping. Awesome. Oh, Travel's Not Cozy. Yes, that's a good one. I love that. I'm going to write that down to you. Awesome. Okay. All right. So the first would you rather question is, would you rather have... Okay, so you wake up tomorrow, and all of a sudden, you have a different accent. You're speaking in a different accent. Not a different language, just a different accent. You didn't get to choose it. It was just chosen for you. So now you just speak with whatever accent was given to you. Um, one of those streets is that you don't live in the van full time. I mean, where else do I live? What's the word on the street? I don't know. <laughs> It's so funny when people say that. I'm like, where where do I live? Do I have a hidden house somewhere that I don't know? Did I secretly win the lottery? I don't know. Maybe. Coffee mugs and sweatshirts and tank tops I would find the most. Okay, coffee mugs, sweatshirts, and tank tops. Okay, got it. Um, okay, anyways. Got sidetracked. So tomorrow you wake up and you have a new accent. That's the first choice. So a new accent that wasn't chosen for you or... You wake up every day with a new accent, a different one, but that lasts for one year and then you have your regular accent back. So one accent that you're going to have forever that you didn't get to choose or a new accent every day. My water reminder. Or a new accent every day and then after one year you get your regular accent back the irregular whatever how you talk which one would you rather <laughs> a 
Exactly, Grant. Word on the street. <laughs> Glenda's going with every day. Oh, Pokefan is going with... Hey, Pokefan, how are you? Uh, I choose one new accent forever. So you're just going to roll the dice and just be like, you know what, I just woke up with a Russian accent. And then forever you just have a Russian accent. Or uh, you have a New York accent or whatever. Um, no, you don't get to choose, Ivana. It's chosen for you. It's chosen for you. You don't get to choose. You just wake up one day and you have a different accent forever. Um, but southern accent would be pretty cool. British forever. Um, all right, if you guys, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give it. I'll give in. If you guys want to choose the one accent that you have for the rest of your life, you can choose it. Um, let's see. Element for Life says B. Alola says a new one every day. Matthew says, hey, Matthew, a different one every day. One year, I don't want a different accent. Okay. Uh, Charlotte says every day. A new accent every day would be fun. Uh, just English accent, permanent. New accent every day, that would freak everyone out. That actually would freak everyone out. New accent for... New accent a day for a year. I bet you'd pick up on some nuances that you could uh, duplicate later. Ooh, that's smart. A new one every day. New accent every day for a year. A new one every day. Alexa would be really confused. That's true. British, yes. A new one every day. The one forever, because you can slowly change it. Ooh, that's a good point. You guys are so smart. Same accent, otherwise I would confuse others. Neither. I love my Latina accent. That would be fun. If you had a new accent every day, you could work for a vehicle warranty place that keeps calling. That's funny. A new accent every day, says Thomas. I've got a southern accent already. Nothing is better than a California accent, bro. <laughs> Only one Minnesota accent. Apparently, everyone loves my accents. Awesome. HGT, very funny. British, British for sure. Um, I'm in San Diego county right now all right um is everybody answered because i'll give my answer i'll give it one i'll give it 10 seconds all right so i would choose uh let's see thomas says spanish accent would be sweet I would choose to have a different accent every day for a year because I think it'd be fun and also the live streams would be pretty fun whenever we do live streams. I'd probably do a live stream every day to be honest. I'd be like, guess what guys? I woke up with a British accent or guess what? Today I woke up with a, I don't know what, all the accents, German accent. I woke up today with an Italian accent. I woke up today with a Chinese accent. I, I don't really know all the accents. I think it'd be so fun. I'd actually have a whole channel based on my new accents. It'd be fun times. It would be epic. It really would be epic. I think it'd be... And also, I think you get a, a cool appreciation for just how everyone's out here living and just... just I think it'd just be such a cool thing. Um, let's see. Spanish. I, if I would choose accent, I'd go with Aussie accent. Ooh, that's a good one. I think I would go with Spanish Antonio Banderas. Life, yes, that would be cool. New York. I love New York accents. I love New York accents. I think that's great. Um, awesome. Okay, so the next question is, <laughs> if you had to choose, if someone was like going to fake murder you, because we don't want to talk about actual real murder, but if someone was going to like say, you have to do this or you're going to die, but not really die because I don't want anyone to die. But... Basically, you had to t have make a choice between eating a box of dry spaghetti or a small box of uncooked rice. Which one would you rather? Eat uncooked spaghetti or uncooked rice? Let me know. Let's see. When I go home to my birth island, my accent changes very quickly. I am... Yes, I am the kind of person that when I'm around somebody with a different accent, I start to pick up on the accent really quickly. I don't know what it is, but I just kind of sink into it. So I, I actually love different accents. 
You think New York accents are awful, Tina? I love it. I love it, love it. All right, get, Glenda's coming through with dry spaghetti. Christina's dry spaghetti. Uh, Jeannie's going with uncooked rice. Robbie's going with uncooked rice. Rebecca's going with spaghetti. Charlotte is going spaghetti. Grant's going with spaghetti. Oh, Mimi, you did. Yeah, you pick up on that accent too. Uh, Yvonne is going with. <laughs> Yvonne is. I probably die from eating either of those raw. No, you won't die. Uncooked rice makes me think of nasty little bugs I won't mention. Ooh. Uh, Paul D. Andrews, spaghetti, poke fan, uncooked rice. I've been served rice, which isn't properly cooked at restaurants before. Matthew's going with the spaghetti. Element for life is spaghetti. Len lover spaghetti is much easier to eat. Grant says, I eat dry spaghetti without my life being threatened anyways. Rice may have been, may have done this before, but cannot confirm or deny this. Mimi's going with rice. Jose is going with spaghetti. Real truth, I lost my mod. Can you remod me? Yeah, no, we're not going through that again. Ivana says, spaghetti, if I must. Thomas has been there, done that already. I'm not a good cook. Me neither. I'm an okay cook. I can I can cook, but I don't really love it. Um, Deborah on the go, spaghetti. Rice is hard. Rice sneaking water in a blender for horchata. Oh, I love horchata. I want horchata right now. Ew, neither really both are yucky, but I guess rice. Um, ooh, horchata sounds so good. Mmm. I don't have anything like that in here. I need to go to the store because I need to get a few more things. I'm out of oat milk. I'm out of creamer. Um, I need some bread, so that's going to be on my things to do tomorrow. Anyways, I would go with Dry spaghetti. I have eaten dry spaghetti before. You know, when you're just cooking, you just break off a piece and eat it. I think if you leave the spaghetti in your mouth a little bit, it kind of like gets that little pasty and then you just chomp it down. It's easier to eat and I don't think I'd want to eat the the like hard crunchy rice. I think it makes my teeth feel like they're going to break. So I would not want to do that. So I would definitely choose the uncooked pasta. Wait, uncooked spaghetti is long, hard sticks. Yes. Hard, long, hard sticks of spaghetti. You could just crunch that stuff down and just be done with it. Then you don't die. All right. So the last question, it is actually kind of funny because it kind of feels like that right now a little bit, which you'll understand what I'm saying. Would you rather, and I know a lot of you are in different countries, so just however your country is run, but dry spaghetti. Barbara would have said rice. <laughs> That's probably true. <laughs> um, would you rather have your country always run by 12 year olds, which kind of feels like that now, <laughs> or run by adults, but it'd be randomly chosen through a lottery every two years. So it could be just like a regular person running the country, like a lottery. So you have always run by 12 year olds or kids that are like in middle school or adults, but they're citizens, just regular citizens. And every two years, which one would you rather? This one's hard. I don't even know which one I would choose because that's a difficult one. But which one would you rather? Okay, Christine is coming through with, I think actual 12 year olds would do a better job than what we have now. I mean, probably facts. Element for life. Regular person every two years. Russ is going with adult lottery. Have had enough of children doing it. Charlotte says adults. Uh, Deborah's going with 12 year olds. Rebecca's going with kids. Matthew's going with kids. Tina's going with middle schoolers would probably last more, ask more questions and not assume they know everything. 
good point. Politicians are like children. Here we call them the adult kindergarten. I mean, that's, that's facts. The choices are too close to the way things are now. It's a pass all the way around for me. <laughs> I'm not mad at that answer. Glenn Lover says 12 year olds. Glenda says, oh my heavens, it seems it is already happening, but adults, I am old. <laughs> Grant's going with lottery. Uh, Jeannie's going with adult lottery. Random adults every two years for Thomas. I'd go with 12 year olds because you may get murderers and thieves. Oh, wait, that's what we have now too. No clue on this one. Uh, v says, I plead the fifth. Children have different perspectives. Bring the kids. 12-year-olds reminds me of Lord of the Flies. Those kids were stone-cold killers. Ooh, that's creepy. Roy says adults. Every, everyday people would be better than sellouts in charge now. Bam. The youngsters would bring freshness to a stale process. Adults. But they must have a new accent every year. Good one, Russ. Sorry, but don't matter who runs the country. People going to protest anyway. Ay, ay, ay. It's probably true. Uh, Jose, adult lottery. Tracy, I want people who moan about the government to have to go. Uh, okay, I decided I vote for the kids. Russ, yeah, it's pretty funny. Um, all right, I'm going to, whoever hasn't voted, go ahead and put in your votes and not, it's not like official votes, but you know, put in your decisions and then I'll tell you what I think. I don't know. I don't know. We need responsible 12 year olds with accents. <laughs> hey, Anne from Cape Cod. I vote for Grant. He would do it better. I mean, that's true. I'd vote for Grant for sure. Yes. Um, oh, man. It could go both ways. Like, I agree with what some of you said about the 12 year olds would have a fresh perspective, but they're going through puberty, I think, around that age, and they're erratic. And. They could do all kinds of weird things. And the probably the economy would be real bad. Although it could be more simplified. Grant A, G, T, W, N, C, 20, 24. <laughs> Can't go with 12 year olds. They play too much Call of Duty. Oh, might be in a war forever and looking for Pokemons. Ooh, that's a good point. A free snacks for everybody. Whoever that, whoever's doing that. I'm, I'm in for that. <clears throat> I like free snacks. Um, I like kindness. So I think <clears throat> some kids could be jerks, but some kids might be responsible and be nice. <sighs> Such a hard one because the random people could be like the worst, but then it's every two. I'm going to go with, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to go with the random people every two years because it's two years that's like less than college, you know, every two years you just roll into a new person. So I feel like it'd be, it'd be like, you might get someone crap for two years, which we've had crap for like a long time. So, I mean, over and over and over. So I feel like every two years it'd freshen it up and then you get new perspectives and then maybe you get regular average people that work together and do some cool things. And maybe they can have their kids help out to their 12 year old kids. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's that's probably my answer. The kids would only have Lego and chocolate-based policies. That's okay with me, I think. Uh, even God promised a young child will lead them all. Amen to that. All right, so those are all the questions I have for, day, for today. Um, hey, HDJKSA52. Um, that was fun. Uh, thank you guys for being here on a Sunday evening. Uh... I think I'm going to eat something and then veg out because this is the cool thing about Sunday night live streams is after it's over, I'm just like, you know, had fun with my friends, with my snack pack. And then it's like chill out. And then tomorrow's a brand new week and it's very exciting. Uh, let's see. My 13 year old grandson is very smart. I must say he has his own ideas. He knows more about government than I did at 13. I agree. Some of these kids nowadays, they are super smart and very in tune with what's happening. So I think 12 year olds might be able to run this country pretty well. So, all right. Well, it's been a pleasure as usual. Uh, I hope you guys have a great week upcoming. The next live stream is going to be on November 21st at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. I'm probably going to do an impromptu live stream sometime this week. 
So jump on if you see it. And the only way you're going to know if I do them is if you're already subscribed and if you've hit the notification bell. Um, and then it's going to give you a ping and it's gonna be like, oh, uh, Travel Snacks is live. And then you can jump on and it'll be a fun time. Uh, so hopefully you guys are all subscribed. Um, thank you, Grant, again, for everything and all the moderators. Thank you, all the Snack Pack, for being here. I'm going to read these comments before I click off because uh, I won't be able to read them after I click off. So, uh, good night. It's bedtime for me. Good night, Jeannie. It's 2.14 a.m. Monday morning. Holy moly. Uh, it's been a blast. Love your channel. Thank you. Have a brownie and ice cream. Ooh, that sounds so good. I'm going to give you a secret. I had donuts today. That's my confession for the day. I had donuts. Uh, I'm not even mad about it. Uh, so no more sweets for me today. Um, these chats are something to look forward to whilst I recover from uh, this. Oh, knee operation. Oh, dang. Prayers for Russ. Thank you, Charlotte. Have a good night. Good night, Anne. Thank you, Mimi. Have a great next week. Uh, yes, November 21st for the next one. Have a great night. Element for life. Take care. See you soon, Paul. Oh, AGT coming through with $5. Whoop, whoop. Let me give you a shout out. Let's give you, oh, let's see, we'll give you, that was an epic mixture of a lot of sounds. Thank you so much, Robbie. I appreciate you so much. Um, thank you, Tracy. Have a great night. Thank you, Christina. And have a great week. Ivana, I love you. Good night, Snack Pack. They can do it with a phone. Yes. Night from the UK. Awesome. Have a blessed evening and live. Thank you. Thank you, Len Lover. Thanks, Jane. Um, v, it was a pleasure to meet you. You too. Hope to meet you down the road for sure. Thank you for the great stream. And I sent you an... Okay, awesome. I'll check that out. Thank you, Len Lover. Never on the go. Uh, I'll check out uh, about getting a P.O. box. Um, I'll check out about P uh, the P.O. Box and getting the merch together. And I'll put like a message on the community section of my channel and probably on Instagram uh, as well. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye for now.